Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to generate a detailed laptop battery report in Windows 10 and calculate the percentage of wear on your battery as well as the voltage and milliamp uh, capacity. Now, uh, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but Windows 10 doesn't have a lot of utilities or a lot of reporting for your, for your laptop uh, battery. From what I can find, all you get is basically what you see here is 100% fully charged and not much other information on it. Uh, even if you right click the icon, you get power options, mobility center, um, you know, and adjust uh, screen brightness. Uh, not really a lot there. I mean, you know, here it says 100% fully charged again, but, you know, nothing else really. They, they're, it's kind of lacking. Why would you want to find out this information? Well, number one, you may want to know what state your current battery in your laptop is at. Or you may have bought a new one from uh, Amazon or, you know, somewhere else. And you want to verify that it's actually, uh, the, you know, has the amount of capacity that they advertised that it had uh, when they were selling it to you. So here's how you do it. First, uh, you got to open up a command prompt. And the uh, easiest way to do that is hold the Windows key down and then hit the X key or the X, uh, the letter X on your keyboard. And that opens up uh, this commands. You want to open up command prompt with admin. So this this one here now this is one way of doing it I'll show you another I'm just gonna hit it and then you're gonna get the user account control and then you're gonna say yes that opens up your command prompt that's one way to do it uh, another way to do it is to go down to Cortana here and uh, just type in CMD then you get command prompt here then right click that and ch choose run as administrator and that opens up the same command prompt. So you go to user account control here, say yes. Okay, so there we have the, the actual command prompt. Now we need to run this per, this command down here. Power CFG space forward slash battery report space forward slash output space uh, quotation mark C colon backslash battery uh, underscore report dot HTML and end quote. Now. Uh, I'm going to put this command into the video description below uh, and so you can just copy and paste it from there and, and, and it'll, you know, you don't, you don't have to type it out and save yourself that trouble. So let's do that. Basically what I did is I highlighted the whole thing and then chose copy. I go back over to my uh, command prompt and right click and you get this, you know, the command put in here. I know I've got it in twice, but let's just go back here. Okay, so right click. And you get the the actual battery report uh, command. So here we're going to hit enter, and it's very quick. It generates a uh, basically a battery report on an HTML page. So now to view that, we just minimize this. Go to your file browser down here, and it was generated to the C root. So we're going to go to C, and then you'll see it right here at the bottom or wherever you know. It'll be the first, uh, you know, depending on how you got it sorted out, it'll be here. So just double click that and your default browser will open up. And there's your battery report. Here you can see that my computer name is HP Packard or Hewlett Packard. And it's an Envy, blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on. It tells you about it. But what we're, uh, what we're uh, interested in here is the battery report. And it says I only have one battery. It names it. It names the manufacturer, the serial number, so on and so forth. Tells me it's a lithium ion battery. That's great. It says the design capacity is 48,000 milliwatt hours, uh, 48,017 milliwatt hours. And the full charge capacity right now is 42,841 milliwatt hours. Now, this is significant because if it was a 100% healthy battery, I would have 100% uh, full charge capacity. In other words, I would have uh, 48,017 milliwatt hours. Well, I don't. I got 42,841 milliwatt hours. Now, if you want to figure out how much of a degradation that is, I'll show you how. We'll open up the calculator here. So just go back down here and uh, just type in calc and you'll get the calculator. Open that up. And all you need to do to figure out how much is degraded, all you need to do is type in the uh, full charge capacity, which is 42,841, and then divide that by the um, actual design capacity, which is what it was designed to hold, which is 48,017. 
And there you see that I, that, that I got this huge number, but really here, all we need to do is multiply by 100 and you get 89.22. And that means that it's 89.22% of the original uh, battery capacity is left on my, on my um, you know, battery, my laptop battery, which is not bad, but you know, it is starting to degrade. It's starting to go downhill. Uh, you also get the re recent usage report, which shows you everything that's been going on with your laptop. And it tells you the time and date and everything else. So if somebody's been turning your laptop on when you're not around, uh, this is one way to find out. <laughs> so it will tell you that. It is logging it. So let's uh, scroll down here. You got battery usage. Well, my laptop is generally plugged in most of the time. So I don't even have a report for the last three days because I haven't used it on battery in the last three days. So if you do, something will show up here. And now, uh, then you got usage his history down here. Again, more reports. And uh, but the battery history where you can see, you know, how it's been going down. Um, you know, obviously, uh, I've got it. Uh, it started at 44,000. I'm down to 43 here at this point. Uh, and then you got another useful report, battery life estimates, that shows you basically how long your battery should last. Okay, at design capacity, you should have had two hours, 21 minutes, and 30 seconds. Uh, the current life, uh, where we got two hours and six minutes and 15 seconds. So that's pretty neat to find out. Now, you want to find out, uh, next you may want to find out what the actual um, milliamp hours is and that doesn't give you this okay it, th th this report doesn't give you milliamp hours it gives you milli uh, milliwatt hours right here milliwatt hours right so most laptop uh, batteries uh, may not most but some laptop batteries may tell you what the milliwatt hour capacity is others will tell you milliamp hours so i'll show you how to figure out uh, your milliamp hours next then we're going to search here for watt hours to milliamp hours. So we hit enter and you'll see down here watt hours to milliamp hour conversion calculator from rapid tables. Going to click on that and then you see, well, enter your watt hours. Well, we know how many watt hours we have. Let's go to the battery report and it says 48,000 milliwatt hours. So basically we have 48.07 watt hours because the milliwatt is a thousandth of a watt. So really what we have is 42 milliwatt, 42.841 milli, sorry, uh, watt hours of capacity. So we'll put that in there. 42.41, oops. Okay. And we don't know the voltage and there's nowhere on this battery report that tells you the voltage, unfortunately. Here's where we, we get a new, uh, uh, basically we need another utility to tell us the voltage. And so we go back to, we'll create a new uh, tab. We're going to go to, we're going to type in battery info view. And what this is, is a little utility that allows you to, uh, well, shows you this information in a much more comprehensive manner. All right. So scroll down here and you'll see that how it works and what information it gives you. And it does give you reporting as well. It's, but I'm not really interested in this stuff. If you are, you can go through it. But I just wanted to show you that this program will actually show you the voltage on your battery. So here we're going to go to download info view. And I will put the links to this stuff in the video description just so that you don't you know you don't have to go hunting for it so there we go so here it says opening now this is not a program you need to install it runs on its own it's an executable so you know i got virus protection so i'm not worried about it if you don't get some uh, i have videos on that as well but so let's just download this hit okay and i'm going to put it in my la download directory Obviously, I downloaded it before, but then uh, I'm just going to open up the folder. There's the battery info view zip, so double click on that. And uh, then we'll go up here to extract. We want to extract it. 
because it's a compressed file so extract all it tells you where it wants to do it I'm going with a default extract it and then if we go back to our folder view here uh, go to downloads you'll see that we have a battery info view folder so double click that and then double click on the executable battery info view exe and this great little program will tell you everything about your your laptop battery as well and as you can see uh, it's fully charged at this point I got 42,841 milliwatt hours again we're talking about milliwatt hours here and it says my battery wear, wear level is 89.2 I calculated 89.2 so again you don't need the program to figure that out you can just do it with the calculator and the battery report but here it is and it tells you the millivolts so again in thousands of volts so at 12 points uh, sorry 12,736 millivolts is actually 12.736 volts so now we got our volts go back to our uh, watt hours to milliamp hours and we're going to put in the voltage here which is sorry go back to that again it's 12.737 uh, okay so we'll put the voltage in here 12.737 and now we calculate it and there's how many how many milliamp hours my current battery has in the uh, for capacity uh, on it so if you bought a laptop battery from anywhere Amazon eBay wherever um, and they told you it had 4,000 milliamp hours and you've done this test and it says 3,363 you know you were to short change a little bit right so uh, we'll put the, the links to all this stuff in the video description but this is a uh, you know quick and easy way to figure out what your capacity on your battery is and whether you've got what you're supposed to have inside uh, the batteries you bought or the battery that's inside your laptop currently that's it for my video thank you very much for watching uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way do me a favor click on the like button right down here and uh, you know if you wish to subscribe to my channel just click on this link up here and that should subscribe you to the the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel um, okay again thank you very much for your time and watching <music>